Welcome back guys to Mass Effect Andromeda where we're supposed to be returning to the Tempest but we're going to go and check out the cave just a second. We drove past multiple times. Why? Because it appears one of our quests was there when I checked the quest journal. Opposed to when we were just going past it we couldn't see a marker whatsoever. So with that said, we're here looking for a prospector or something like that. Andralia. This place is massive. Detecting high levels of toxic gas. Proceed with caution, Pathfinder. Joy! Hey, I'm always cautious. Look at those stalagmites. Tights? I can never get that right. Stalactites. Think of it like they're holding tightly to the ceiling. I don't know where these enemies are. Hiding around the corner. Stalagmites and stalactites, they're things that I can never get right either. Even if you give me something like that to try and remember it by, it never works in my brain. Where are these guys? They're around more than one corner. I feel that someone may have been eaten. Whoever turned off the lights is an asshole. Nearly broke my toe searching for the generator. Nice. Is that a generator? What's it doing all the way out here? It appears to be powering the floodlights. Oh, well, yeah, but who put it here? The surveyor? That would be a lot of equipment for one man to carry. Well, it appears that guy was stuck, enabling us a nice, quick, and easy kill. Let's go challenge the other one, shall we? Well, it looks to me like they're all stuck. Yep, pretty much. Out of options, this way. Well, there's uranium as a container. I mean, I need rivets, obviously. Thank you, Mr. Sniper can look through everything. Let's just jump over that. It shouldn't be poisonous anymore. We better find something. Well, we're going to find something. And because there's monsters in here, I'm not sure we're going to find anything good. Another generator. Another generator. And more lights. They lead to something? There's some RD around, that's for sure. It seems this okay. way is the way I need to go. This was the surveyor's last known location. It really was last known as well. Got a dead guy over here. All right, yeah. see Solarian. Surveyor. Who did it? Outcasts, collective, random exiles. Gravity. What? He broke his neck, probably from trying to obtain barite samples. Wow, that's kind of embarrassing. Sam, download his data. We can at least deliver that. From up there, I take it? Well, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate indeed. I'll take all the uranium I can carry with me in the time being. Though it still feels weird to say that I'm just going, Yep, uranium, let's pick that up. Is there another way out, considering the lights lead to somewhere? Let there be light. Maybe they came down from above, to be honest. Well, that's that quest done. I guess we're returning to Katara Port, I think. To turn that in. So a cave complex it looks to lead to somewhere else, doesn't it? Not that way. Was there a place I could climb there? Or was it just a place we could come down into? Oh, there's another cave! Oh, what have we got here? You hear that? Intruders! Stand down. The charlatan wants this one alive. 
Out for a walk, Pathfinder? Well, I think we found things, don't you? No one else in the Collective hesitated to shoot me. We're a big organization. Low-level operatives might not have gotten the word. But my orders are clear. You're not to be harmed. Crux is in charge here. If you've got questions, talk to her. Okay then, Lynx. We found the Collective's base. I didn't even know we had to find it. Well, 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 what's this? So he wasn't killed for the whole... Sam, what's inside the cages? Judging from the scratching, Hardy. Hardy cages, eh? Sam, what are they doing with the odd heat? It appears the Collective are attempting to domesticate the creatures. And how's that going? Aggression levels are lower than what we've seen in the wild. But I wouldn't recommend opening the cage. But that's what I like doing. Okay. Well, let's finally learn more about this collective. That's some super villain lair shit right there. Technically, yes. It's down in an underground bunker inside a mountain. Hidden away. All we need is a bit of lava. Though technically we have acid instead. And we're sorted. Well, that's some supplies as well. Was well supplied, but damn. Still their stuff. Still their stuff. Mwahaha. <laughs> and they're growing stuff in these boxes Didn't too. Take the collective gardeners. With Angarans helping on top of that. a very interesting mishmash of culture. You using that for power at all or something? A drill? I don't know. Alright, we gotta go up. Loads of collective guys around, that's for sure. They're not exactly a small organisation. All the control room. Hello, what's going on? Pathfinder, you caught me off guard. We don't receive many visitors. The cesspools put them off? They are natural deterrents, yes. The Angara call this place Drolir. Translates to death caves. A bit melodramatic. If you've a head for navigation, it's perfectly safe. Like most of Kadara, it's the people you should worry about. What do you mean? Someone's been faking the charlatan's orders, giving bad intel. It got two of our recruits killed. Someone impersonating the charlatan could do a lot of damage. Only the representatives have access to such high-level information. The boss knows it's someone operating out of this base. It's my job to find the culprit. So what's the holdup? The imposter could bolt at the first sign of suspicion. I need a subtle way to smoke them out. Why would someone risk impersonating the charlatan? Greed is a powerful motivator, Pathfinder. The Collective has access to supplies, credits, you name it. And we only answer to one person. Maybe I could help. I'm not connected to the Collective. A curious outsider would raise less suspicion than an official representative. That's true. All right, Pathfinder. Here's what we know. The drop point was in the Sulphur Springs, so the imposter should have high levels of sulphur in their clothes. Sam's sensors should be able to detect that. Anything else? We found footprints that could be human or Asari, but too smudged to get an exact size. That's all my intel. Well, that narrows it down a little bit. I guess you're not a suspect, being who you are. Well, let's just use this. Unlock holding cells. Do we really want to do that? Lock holding cells, username. New recruits. New batch of recruits heading your way. Put octans on them. You did well with the last bunch. Let's not unlock any holding cells yet until we know what they do. What do we also get there? Okay, we've got suspects all around. Maybe we should try with the one furthest away, which I think is not going to be the one that does it because they begin this fairly important position overlooking the RD, and they could unlock the RD and let them run free free. Should we not be good for anyone? 
Sulfur levels are high. Her footprints are of a similar shape to those left at the drop site. Could be our rat. Before accusing Dorado, perhaps you'd like to talk to her. She could have an alibi. Ah, really? Whilst well, talking to her, it seems to be a problem. It's not really letting me do that, is it? Maybe we should check everyone else out first and then see what happens. Are you one of them? Oh, you're obviously not human enough or sorry enough. That guy, however. Sulfur levels are normal. Not our culprit then. Oh really? But you're not a human or oh, sorry. Caution. This plant is highly noxious, Pathfinder. Damn, I was hoping for Healy's version of tulips. The collective most likely uses it to make Sulfur readings are low. Additionally, Angaran feet are distinct from humans and Asari. It's almost like I knew that. Solarian. High sulfur levels, but the footprints at the drop site contradict to Solarian's webbed feet. Just being thorough, Sam. Slightly higher in chemical burns on fingers and forearms. Sorry about before, not much traffic down here. Recruits are jumpy. You didn't shoot, that's all that matters. You're awfully good-natured about people pointing guns at your face. Some of us have been down here for months. I haven't seen the sun in weeks. There are high levels of sulfur in your clothes. I... what? How'd the sulfur get there if you haven't left in weeks? I oversee our water filters, make sure they aren't tampered with. I shouldn't have to tell you that Kadara's water is full of sulfur. Is that reason enough, creep? Oh, they're friendly with me now. But now the option to speak come up. Sam? Her explanation for the level of sulfur in her clothes was plausible, Pathfinder. She's in a position of somewhat authority by look of it as well. Need something? Go bother Crux. You're a testy one. Sorry. Haven't slept in 36 hours, thanks to another shit job. 36 hours? That can't be healthy. Defying the charlatan's orders isn't healthy. I go where I'm told. You've never been tempted to manipulate your boss's orders? What? What do you mean? You know, fudge the intel. Use the collective's resources to make a profit on the side. I don't know what you're playing at, but I'm done talking to you. Well, that's helpful, people. Dorado's heart rate spiked when you questioned her about the sh Okay. Well, I think we've got our target then, specifically. Let's hand in our information then. Pathfinder, any luck finding the imposter? Dorado's clothes showed high levels of sulfur. When I questioned her loyalty to the charlatan, she became frantic. You asked her outright. I said to be discreet. Aquila, detain Dorado. Dorado? She's gone. Said it was on the charlatan's orders. Damn it. If the charlatan finds out, I let her get away. I'll take care of it. She can't have gone far. That was discreet. I was like, well, you know, you could fight the orders. I'm an outsider. I'm allowed to say stuff like that, surely. Right, where has she got to? Inside the cave complex, most likely. Actually, what's that marker over there? Okay, now the other marker, the main quest marker, is of course trying to get us to go all the way back. Well, then, Dorado. You try to get a better lot in life than looking after a load of Ardy, by the look of it. And has not done you well.
Right, so which way did she travel? It'd probably be a good idea if I actually just press on the objective once one of these days, you know? Rather than check the map constantly. If there's enemies in here, they're not going to get me. But that's a dead end, Dorado. Unless you're getting airlifted out or something. Oh! Dorado, do we have to do this? We're sniper too. Can't we snipe together? I'm sorry, you're going to burn to death. I'm going to loot in the meantime. Crux, it's Ryder. Did you find Dorado? She ambushed me. I had no choice but to take her out. Would have liked to question her, but at least it's done. Thanks, Pathfinder. Not a problem. I guess, working for these people I don't really know much about. But it seems that quest done now, so there's no point in going back. The viability is 81%. How much does an outpost going down do? We haven't killed an architect yet, either. Hmm. Well, let's get out of here, because there's no way we can get out from this location. Oh, come on. You got me good, didn't you? Get out of my face. Because we need to go back up of all the Tempest. We've got to check Jal's email. And then back down to Katara Port. And hopefully then we can launch our outposts. With the job done there, the easiest and fastest way up is you, isn't it? Alright then, so extraction time. Let's check that email, see what Jal wants, see if it's related to this planet, considering we checked out Ventrelev's kind of transponder. I wasn't expecting that cave to lead me to such a random thing. Just walk in and find the secret base of another organization? Well, this charlatan of the collective hasn't really done a great audition to try and get me to, like, like the person, whoever it is. Being all stealthy and stuff about things isn't always that great. Anyone need to see me? Gills ready to talk to you about the Ket transmitter? That I was expecting. You have new email at your terminal, Pathfinder. That I was expecting. Right, meeting with Axul from Mache Sheffa. Y'all expressed that you wish to meet with Axul. It's been a long time since he and I spoke. He was so changed by the Ket, it was difficult to talk to him. Perhaps enough time has passed and together we can reason with him. I've arranged a meeting in my laboratory on Aya. Please come in your earliest convenience. We do have at least one quest to give in there. We got a cool Reyes Vidal. Something interesting just fell in my lap. Call me when you have a minute. Okay, I have diplomatic efforts. So that's going to be called from the VidCon. When we left our home, we never planned on having to negotiate with an alien civilization for a new one. It's vital we placate the Angara and keep them on our side. Yes. They own an embassy on Aya and our diplomatic team is already settling in. I'm counting on you to ensure our success. You've established ties with the resistance leader, the Mashai, and Aya's governor. Do all you can to learn everything about them and their supporters. The better we understand Aya's political structure, the more successful we'll be gaining their help colonizing Helios. Indeed. Stolen Nexus goods, which we've recovered. Pathfinder Rider, I'm the one who was storing supplies around the Nexus. For delivering to Kadai. They were intended for hardworking downtrodden exiles just trying to survive. Okay. The initiative cast them out with almost no regard for their future. Whole families, many of whom were only barely implicated in the revolts, all left because they couldn't bear to separate from loved ones. I was able to make several deliveries before you took it upon yourself to shut down the pipeline, enough to buy them some time and hopefully get them back on their feet. I've left my post on Nexus and joined these disenfranchised people. I wanted you to know that this was done out of concern and caring, not avarice or greed. Please don't take it out on the people of Kadara. I'm not. It's all good there. From Sellers, I wanted to send my appreciation for clearing my debt. Dear friend Sanjeev's name, I hate to imagine the ordeal he was subjected to by the exiles who took him. Hopefully he wasn't eaten. 
But it does my heart good to know that he will be remembered as a faithful member of this incredible endeavour and not a traitor. Perhaps now I can finally put the Nexus Revolts behind me and start looking to the future. Right, something suspicious from Sidera Nix. This is Sidera, Vetra's sister, but everyone calls me Sid. Yeah, Sidera, Vetra. Sidera, that sounds cool. I know this isn't following protocol because who am I to contact a Pathfinder through their personal console, right? But I know Vetra will tell me I'm overreacting, and I swear I wouldn't do this unless I thought it was something serious. There's just stuff going on here that doesn't really add up and people are getting hurt. It's hard to explain. Can we talk in person? I'm in operations. We get a meter? Cool. I blame you. From Gil. You know that guy Bailey you ran into on the Nexus? Whatever you said to him, he decided to reach out to me. All right. I hope you are well. Our time working together on Nexus was invigorating. And I'm sure you're invigorating your colleagues on the Tempest now. I envy them and your Pathfinder. But I suppose you work your, the work you're doing now and the pioneers you're supporting need and probably deserve to be invigorated more than the rest of us. Okay, and that's been cut there. Invigorating, eh? It drones on for six pages like that before he asks me if I'd like to get a drink. I feel invigorated now, don't you? I do. You're making ways, Reyes Vidal. Spread the word at Taras and in port of your expert handling of the Euro car. I only made a few embellishments and left out my involvement, of course. Wouldn't want to steal your spotlight. Don't make me anti-Angaran. Matriarch credits. From Drac. It was a scam. Do me a favour and don't tell Vetra, okay? You fool. Alright, non-work related email from Yarl. I told Liam and PB and Lexi a children's story that the mothers used to tell us when we were small. It's from our oral history of the time before the Scourge. About a wayward child. I'll leave it up on the screen for a bit. You can pause it if you want to read it. Well, that's quite a long story. But it ends with deservedly she froze in the cold vacuum of space and died the end. I don't know why the crew enjoyed it. It's a terrible story meant to scare youngsters to obedience. Is this a novelty to your people? Eh, it's kind of one of those stories, isn't it, really? Alright, so I've got to respond to Reyes. I've also lost connection. Boo-hoo. You have AVP outstanding, Pathfinder. Done I always. Well, let's call Reyes and see what's going on, shall we? Pathfinder, you have pending vid calls. I know! Ryder, how's my favorite Pathfinder? Just enjoying another day of what Helios has to offer. Why? Thought we could grab a drink. Sloan's holding a get-together for the locals. I managed to snag an invite. Care to be my plus one? You're so going to be the charlatan, aren't you? Sloane doesn't seem like the party type. She sees these events as a necessary evil to keep the people happy. I'd never say no to free drinks. Especially from Sloane's reserve. I'll meet you outside Outcast HQ. We're gonna go get some drinks. We're gonna go have a party. When's my video night? That's what I'm really caring about. When do I get to see videos of... Space westerns like this. I do not know. Well, let's get back down to Kadara, and I'll see you next time for more Mass Effect with the Angara. Bye bye.